Hey, what's going on everyone? So, I got a fresh new fade. I know it looks a bit probably different than my other videos because I usually have long hair. But I decided I wanted to cut it short because there has been, a, like, it's been a while since I have, I've cut it short. I think since, I don't know what, like grade 10, which is like around six years ago. I haven't cut it since then. So, uh, I decided I wanted to cut it short this time because worst case scenario, I can grow it again. And then I could, uh, you know, I could either put it forward, I could put it back, or I could do really whatever I want. So, in today's video, we're going to be actually unboxing my new Mac Mini. So, my friends were actually really, really kind enough to actually get me this Mac Mini for my birthday in August. Um, I'm going to put all their names on the screen somewhere here. Um, uh, so, just shout out to them because I told them I would shout them out actually in this video. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is unboxing this Mac Mini and setting it up on my desk setup. If you've seen my desk setup video, then you know there's a lot of things that take place. So, to set up this Mac Mini will take a while. Now, I actually got this Mac Mini around a month ago, but I haven't unboxed it yet because I haven't gotten around to filming the video. So it's really just been sitting in my room this whole time and I've really just wanted to unbox it the whole time and just set it up by myself. But I wanted to make sure that I make a video for you guys and that you guys can also enjoy, you know, the content that comes out of setting up this Mac Mini. So this is the Mac Mini. So if you guys don't know what a Mac Mini is, a Mac Mini is essentially a desktop. Uh, it's it's basically a Mac desktop without the screen. So you know when you buy a MacBook Pro, when you buy a MacBook Air, you know you just set it up and there's a screen and everything. Imagine having everything that a MacBook Pro has except without the screen. So the only, I guess, downside with a Mac Mini is that you have your own monitor. But if you work at home the whole time, then most likely you have your own monitor. So this is actually really, really beneficial because you could use it on any monitor you like, like a Samsung monitor, an LG monitor, um, a Dell monitor an HP monitor an Asus monitor it doesn't matter you can use it on any monitor because this connects through HDMI to your monitor so that's what I'm gonna be setting up today so like I told you guys earlier there's a lot of things that will have to take place in order for me to set up this Mac mini on my desk so it will take a while but I will take you guys through the process with me hey what's going on guys what the heck why do I look so focused while I'm doing this it looks like I'm literally like filling out an exam or a test or something yeah so I basically took out the plastic wrapper nothing special um, oh this is the best part about unboxing any Apple product it's literally when this happens Happens. You guys probably know the feeling, you know, when you get a new MacBook or you get a new iPad or a new iPhone, and you know, you're unboxing it. Ooh, and right now when you take off the paper, oh, that's such a great feeling. It's so satisfying. Uh, so this is the Mac Mini. Uh, it's really, really clean when it actually comes. It was bigger than I thought. Um, to be honest, I thought it'd be a bit smaller, but it's actually fairly big. Um, and then this is just like the manual, um, the electric cord. Now on the back of the Mac Mini, there's so many ports like you guys can see over here. Um, we have the HDMI, USB-C, regular USB. Um, we also have, well, actually we have, we have two USB-Cs and two uh, regular USBs. Uh, there's also the Ethernet cable. I don't really use the Ethernet cable, to be honest. I used to use the Ethernet cable a lot, but I don't use it that much anymore. Uh, then we have the regular Apple stickers that comes with every Apple product and the electric cord, which I actually already showed you, and the manual, which I also already showed you. So now I'm trying to transfer my information between my old Mac, and like my MacBook Pro, and my MacBook Mac Mini. Now this actually took a while. This took, I think, around like nine hours. Like I set it up uh, and it said nine hours. So then I literally went to the gym, uh, worked out, and I left it overnight. And this is kind of towards the end of it in the morning. Uh, there was 15 minutes remaining uh, so then I actually filmed this video over two days so I migrated everything from my old Mac to uh, like my MacBook Pro to my Mac mini and I kind of made like a duplicate so I had basically uh, two MacBooks that were basically had the exact same thing in both of them so now this is kind of where I'm trying to set up the cable management for both of them so I thought to myself I was like okay I'll lift up the desk uh, and then we'll go under and I'll uh, start working with the cable management here but then I realized that I didn't raise it, raise it as high enough so I had to raise it a bit higher higher um, and then now I need to turn off the Mac so that so to ensure that I you know I don't really like ruin the computer while I'm setting it up uh, so then I'm like okay wait first let's change the Mac because you know I got a new computer so I gotta I gotta change up the mat a bit so I remember that my mat is actually two-sided so I'm like okay I'll, I'll change it up to the other side you know I've had this brown side for a while so I'll change it up to the gray one so I flip it around you know I change it to the gray one I clean up my desk you know I make sure everything is you know really nice and tidy because you know I probably haven't I, I you know I really haven't taken it off my desk for I'd say like what like I don't know, eight months or so. So there's a lot of dust there. So I organized it, you know, I set it up and I made sure all the lines were, you know, uh, clean and everything was ready to go. And now I go back to basically setting up the cable management. Wow, my desk looks so clean right now. I actually love how it looks. So I have to unplug the extension that I have into the wall in order to move the desk a bit because I, you know, I, I need to get to the back of the desk and that, that extension is what basically connects everything. So I move my fan as well. And now I'm about to go to the back and kind of rewire everything. So when I go to rewire everything, I realize that it's, it's literally like it's, it's, it's hectic down there. It's literally a circus. So I'm trying to, you know, go between wires, uh, cut zip ties, cut gorilla tape. 
uh, you know, because I, I want to set it up so that it can be perfect and I don't have to worry about it ever again. And I always, I'm also trying to figure out how to set it up with the smart plug. So when I, you know, when I tell Alexa to turn off the computer, I want to make sure that she turns it off because I have the smart plug connected to the plug of the computer. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I should do right now with the Gorilla Tape and also moving around my old setup. So you guys can see that I'm playing with the, uh, you know, the smart plug over here. So then I, I bring the wire up all between and I connect it into the Mac Mini. And then now we should be basically ready to go. All right, so I actually just finished setting up my Mac Mini right now. All I really have to do left is transfer the information. I'm probably gonna do that overnight just because it takes like a couple hours, so I don't wanna you know do that through the day. Then I don't end up using my computer. It did take me a bit of a while, around an hour and a half. Now, if you guys are interested to see my cable management for it, I'm actually gonna be making a future video discussing how I changed my desk entirely into the Mac Mini from the MacBook Pro. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. But without any further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video and final shout out for my friends that got me the Mac Mini. Thank you guys so much. Catch you guys on the next one. Take care and take it easy. But it did take a bit of a while. It did take me a bit of a while. I think it took me around an hour and a half, which is, it did take me a bit of a while.